getting a sound okay. right now. I think probably if you speak up just yes. a little into right. this, I'll, I'll try to hold All right, it. Right. All right, Are you ready to go? Yeah, go ahead. Dr. Bertelson, uh, where is your home? At Neponset, Illinois. We've just seen a demonstration of the aeromobile, a very efficient demonstration. We understand you're a medical doctor. Uh, what led you to invent such a machine? Well, it was a, a real need in my rural territory. We have uh, every winter about two feet of snow on some occasions, and uh, my car is absolutely stopped. And every spring we have two feet of mud in certain areas, and uh, we cannot pass through with an ordinary car. So this was as a result of a search for a real good flying machine which will get around this territory at a price which a physician can afford. The helicopter being out of economic range of an ordinary doctor. Helicopter then? Yes, you might call it an internal flow helicopter with a excellent ground effect. That is, it has more lift near the ground. What commercial possibilities? And they also have the faculty of going on very, very cheap roads. That is, you won't need anything but a sod or grass or some dust-free medium on which to go. You don't need a foot-thick slab of concrete. So we feel that this is a real challenge. Uh, the maneuverability of this car, would it make it easier to park and to operate in traffic? Much easier. You can park sideways, and uh, when you drive in your driveway, you don't have to back out. You simply make a pivot turn and drive out forward. I noticed during the demonstration this morning that there was a lot of noise. Now, is this a drawback? Could it be corrected? Yes, this noise is mainly uh, the lack of a muffler on the engine. We have a rather crude and, and inefficient muffler, but this, uh, the air noise is a very small mm -hmm. part of it, and the uh, engine could be made theoretically as quiet as an automobile engine. You said the machine has commercial possibilities. What steps are you taking to bring this about, and is there any estimation uh, how long before such a machine would be in production? We're uh, trying to uh, iron out all the, uh, the developmental problems on our basic machines. This one we sh showed this morning was a research machine, of course. Uh, it, is, uh, it is a little too heavy, and it is a little too inefficient, and we think that we will gradually go through several more uh, pro production prototypes and then eventually have a machine that will be useful immediately over rough terrain, over swamps, marshes, uh, rice fields. Uh, one interesting thing about these things is that they can go up and down a rapids on a river as well as uh, uh, go up as well as down. And uh, this is the only vehicle that could negotiate such a, uh, an area. At the time you refined your machine then, uh, how do you plan to actually market it? It'll be so sold first uh, to use on marshes and swamps and uh, over rough country, and then ultimately I think that uh, we, we will be in position to consider using them for transportation. Is it uh, correct that you already have sold one of these machines to the government? Yes, the U.S. Department of Commerce Office of International Trade Fairs bought one, uh, and uh, this will be delivered in January for shipment to Tokyo to the International Trade Fair at Tokyo, Japan in April 1961, and from there it will go to uh, Italy in June and Yugoslavia in September as a, uh, an example of American technology. How difficult would it be for me to drive one of these aeromobiles? It's, it's really quite simple. Uh, in contrast to other aircraft, you don't have to worry about uh, turning it over or uh, maintaining flying speed or uh, actually coming in and hitting a runway and so on. This machine hovers and uh, it, is, it follows the terrain so you don't have the fear of turning it over or diving it into the ground or any such problem as that. It's very simple. Many novices have flown this machine with great success. Is there an actual stick, just as there would be in an airplane? Yes, we do control the roll and the pitch of the machine with a stick, and we have foot pedals to control its steering, uh, as it is just exactly as it is in a helicopter or an aircraft. One final question. I know there are other machines that go under the name of Hovermobile, and I believe Curtis Wright has a machine on the market. Uh, is there a lot of competition uh, racing to get into the market? Actually, uh, we feel we 
have the world beat on this. Uh, we have the most controllable, the most efficient, and the, uh, the only one really ready for production. What he plans to do? What with? plan to do the machine now before it goes into mass production? Okay. Okay, one more question and we'll... Dr. Bertelson, uh, what are your immediate plans for the aeromobile uh, before it goes into mass production? Uh, we'll use it uh, in exhibitions uh, around the country to show the American public uh, what the ground effect is. No one has seen one. No one knows what it is. It's like trying to describe an elephant to a blind man. And uh, until you actually see one, uh, we will uh, we'll have to show the public on exhibitions, demonstrations, at fairs, expositions, and uh, various public gatherings, just exactly. Uh, this uh, machine can be obtained through uh, Mr. Jimmy Burge, uh, uh, at uh, Oklahoma City, our agent, uh, the convention decorating company, or Theme Parks Incorporated, uh, has, is the agency uh, to contact to obtain this machine for exhibitions. I see. Thank you very much, Dr. Bertelson. Uh, so we see that you are trying to introduce to the public a new mode of travel. Now I see the commercial. <laughs> I just didn't know he was. I wish I had. I'm sorry.